Prisoners. People whose freedom was lost once they were locked up in prison-like committee, where an estimated 2,000 convicts and remandees are serving time for crimes they committed in the past. Life here can seem unbearable and literally come to a halt. But there is hope and future for those who choose to persevere, as was witnessed today. Meet Willis Ocheng, who was locked up immediately after clearing from four and sentenced to 11 years in prison. Ocheng confronted his adversity through studying law and 11 years later, he's now a professional. Today's 16 Kenyans, including 13 inmates, two prison officers and one ex-convict, were presented with a Bachelor of Law degree from the University of London. For Cheng, studying law has been his biggest achievement in his life. Much of the books that we gotten was like 5.8 kgs. So I was wondering, how can somebody be able to, to absorb 5.8 kgs kilograms of books in his brain? But I read that somewhere that, uh, that uh, brain is like a balloon. Ocheng explained that life took a turn for the worst at his home village in Maseno. What made me to be expelled from school? I was trafficking drug, that is bang. After 11 years behind bars and now a free man with his Bachelor of Law degree at hand, the graduate says that he is so determined to make a difference in the society. When I was released, because I'm just one month old outside there, since I was released, uh, people around me, even the, the, the chief, were very impressed. And uh, now they are saying that uh, there is a big achievement in our village. In our village, His memory in prison is not aspiring, but he says he overcame the hurdle and challenges. Prison is not just a, a, it's not a camp where you can come and say that you're going to, uh, you can come and just get into studies. It is about attitude and it, it has to come from within somebody. Commissioner General of the Kenya Prison Service, Mr. Wycliffe Ogalo, said the initiative was part of the ongoing prisons reform process that ensures prisoners access the education and smooth reintegration to the society upon release. Education is a key to eliminating gender inequality, to reducing poverty, to creating a sustainable planet, to, to preventing needless deaths and illness, and to fostering peace. One Nelson Mandela said that education is the only tool that can be used to change the world and that is exactly what the prisoners here at the Committee Maximum Prison have done to change their life stories. Victor Lo, K24 at the Committee Maximum Prison, Nairobi.